Hello friends, welcome to House of Apps English. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to do NEFT transfer in HDFC Bank application. I'm going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, the very first thing you have to do is just simply open HDFC Bank application in your mobile phone. And once the application is started, you need to complete the login process using Face ID, four digit PIN or password. Now, once the login process is complete, on the homepage itself, you will get an option of money transfer. So tap on money transfer, go to the next page and uh, before completing the transaction or before doing the transaction, you need to add a payee account or beneficiary account first. So on the next page, you need to select add or manage payee. Now on this page, uh, if you have already added a beneficiary or payee account, then you can check it out over here. But if you're doing it for the first time, you need to select add payee option. Again, next page, select bank account. And uh, over here, you need to select account category. You get two options over here. One is HDFC bank account and another one is non-HDFC bank accounts in India. Suppose the beneficiary account you are adding is of HDFC bank, select first option. But if it is of some other bank like ICICI, Kotak or Indescent, then select second option. In my case, uh, the account which I'm going to add is of Indescent bank. So I'm going to select second option. You need to enter the account details like name, account number. You need to select account type. It might be saving, current account. And uh, you can search for IFSC code. And once the account details uh, is filled up, you can select continue option. Now, as you all can see, I've entered the account details. Let's select continue option. We need to verify the beneficiary. So tap on verify. And within few seconds, the verification will be completed. And it will take you back to the same page. Again, all you have to do is just simply tap on continue option. On the next page, cross verify all the details. And before selecting confirm, you need to uh, read this note which says, the newly added payee will be activated after 30 minutes. So once you add a payee account, you need to wait for 30 minutes to do the transaction. The second note is if no funds are transferred to an added pay for more than 24 months, which is two years, uh, the pay will be deactivated. So cross verify the details, select confirm option, select continue option on the next page. You will receive an OTP on your mobile number. So enter the OTP and then select continue. So now you can see we have successfully added a pay. Now we have to wait for 30 minutes so that this account can be activated. Now once the beneficiary account is activated, all you have to do is again go to money transfer option, go to add or manage pays and this time select the added account. So in my case, for now, I'm going to select this Kotak bank. It will show you some option, select transfer option, enter the amount, you can check out the date. Now over here in transfer mode, make sure you select NEFT because it might be selected to IMPS. If you want to do IMPS transfer, then you can select IMPS. But if you want to do NEFT, select NEFT. After selecting NEFT, uh, you get few more options. You can either add remarks if you want to. And there is an optional uh, thing over here which says you can add payee mobile number so that when the transfer is complete, payee can be notified. So let's enter the amount. So now I have entered the amount and in uh, remarks, I have entered test because I'm doing this for testing purpose. I don't want to add a pay mobile number. If you want to add it, you can do that. Select continue option. Again, on the next page, check all the details, tap this box and select confirm. Now uh, you can choose if you want to choose your mobile number or email ID to receive OTP so that the transaction can, uh, can be complete. I'm going to select a mobile number and select continue option. Now you will receive an OTP. So you have to enter the OTP and then select continue. So I have entered the OTP. Let's select continue option. And now you can see I have successfully completed the transfer. So you can download the receipt if you want to. You can share this again and you can also check out the details over here. So these are the simple steps you need to follow in order to do NEFT transfer in HDFC Bank application. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.